What is going on guys? Grave here today. I'd like to talk about visibility and Call of Duty Vanguard. Before I get into all the details, be sure to check out everything down in the description, the community discord, my Twitter, and of course the affiliates here on the channel Empire Jerky, where you can use code grave at checkout for 5% off and Amazon associates. I have a lot of stuff linked in the description that I use every day in gaming and when I record and all that kind of stuff. So maybe some things that you are interested in yourself. Also check out the merch store that is linked in the description as well. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, I'd appreciate it if you'd hit that sub button. Now, when it comes to visibility in Call of Duty Vanguard, it's a lot better now than it was in what we had in the alpha and the beta. In the alpha and the beta, there was a lot of that kind of foggy, hazy look on some of the maps uh, that made it really hard to see enemies. Uh, that has been fixed for the most part. Now, don't get me wrong, some of these maps still have these issues. And I think, you know, now that the honeymoon phase is over, as a lot of people call it, the first couple of days, a lot of people were praising the game, talking about how great it was. And it is still really a great game, in my opinion. It's been a lot of fun to play, but I think a lot of people are starting to see some of the flaws now. And I do have an issue with a few things. And one thing is definitely that visibility. Now that they have cleaned that kind of foggy, hazy look up on a majority of the maps, there's still areas that it's really hard to see players in. And in my opinion, uh, at least from my experience, I play on PS5, only BenQ monitor. If I turn my brightness up in game, it washes out areas even more and I it, it kind of makes it harder to, for me personally to see players at a distance the brighter my screen is set um, so I've kind of experienced that I know not everyone's experience may be that way depending on what if you play on a monitor or TV or whatever the case may be so I have mine actually set down to the lower brightness than the, the game actually recommends I think mine's set on like 48 right now because it looks the best to me at that point I think there needs to be some kind of adjustments to get rid of the rest of the fog as we talk about steam and fog and things of that nature. And of course, I understand that some of these maps have, have the stuff on, on purpose, but there's still just areas of the map that it looks kind of hazy, kind of foggy, where you cannot see players. But my biggest gripe probably about this is it's very annoying when you're ADS looking at the exact location there is a player and you do not see their name tag pop up. And as you can see in game, I have uh, the name tags to pink because it's the easiest one to see. Pink or yellow, in my opinion, are probably the two best in game to use uh, for enemy nameplates. But it is very annoying sometimes when you aim down sights and you get killed from the exact location you're looking at and the enemy's nameplate never showed up. I don't know if you guys have noticed, sometimes when you look down sight, it takes like a split second for that nameplate to show up. You'll see somebody move at a distance, but their nameplate won't show up for a split second and it's fast as the time to kill is in this game a lot like modern warfare 2019 that split second is probably going to be the end of you if the player that's shooting at you or looking at you has really good aim it's probably over before you ever can pull the trigger so i think they need to kind of figure out a way to update some of these like i said the the haze the fog they need to get that fixed but also make it so players nameplates are a little bit more visible at a distance i'm not sure if this was intended or if it's an actual bug or it's something that they just kind of wanted to, you know, work on after the game came out. We have heard some from, uh, you know, the team at Sledgehammer saying they're going to, you know, look, they're looking into the things that the community is talking about. But we have no exact date for an update. I would assume there'll be one pretty quick. I'm sure it's going to be for nerfs and buffs of ammo types, weapons, all that good stuff. But at the same time, I think visibility is one of the biggest things in game right now that's annoying for a lot of players. Because to me, it's just kind of unfair to, you know, be looking in a location and get, you know, gunned down, uh, get shot at, uh, die before you ever even see that enemy's nameplate show up. And that's something I think they definitely need to look at. Like I said, along with changing some of the maybe darker areas on the map where you cannot see very well, some of these hazy, foggy areas getting changed as well will work. I think will help out a lot. Overall, like I said, the visibility is a lot better than it was in uh, the beta and the alpha but there's still times where it's really, really hard to see enemies. And that has been an issue over the last few years when we had that issue with um, Modern Warfare 2019. Some people even had that issue, they said, when Call of Duty Cold War first came out. Uh, so it seems like maybe it's something to do with what engine they're using now. Of course, I know Cold War was on a different engine than Modern Warfare and uh, what Vanguard is on, but it does make good sense of why this engine that Vanguard is on is the same as 2019 Modern Warfare, and we had the same issue in Modern Warfare 2019. So hopefully they'll get this fixed. Of course, if they give us any update about this, I'll make a video to let you guys know exactly what they're doing. Of course, if you like the video, hit the like, uh, leave me a comment, let me know your thoughts, and I'll catch you all next time. Peace.